Good morning, Sandy Ridge. It happens to be National Nurses Day. So appreciate our healthcare workers, our nurses, our doctors, our people out there doing great things for us and taking good care of us. So today's drawing, you can make a healthcare worker, a nurse, whoever you want it to be. And if you happen to know somebody who is out there in the medical field, send it to them, give it to them, slide it in their mailbox and let them know how much you appreciate them. Okay, so we're gonna get started on our healthcare worker. Don't forget to start by putting those light guidelines across your paper so that you get your, your face all centered up nice today and, uh, and we leave space for body and space for hat and all those sort of things. Now, with faces, proportion is really important, right? You don't want huge ears and little tiny eyes and so we're gonna really concentrate on kind of keeping everything in proportion. We're gonna start, we're gonna make just a big U right here. Okay. It's going to come down across that midway line and back up again. And that to, probably to about right here. Okay. So from about here down to about here. We're going to leave space to put a hat on right up here. We're going to put our eyes in and then we're going to put our neck and we're going to put our body and run it right off the paper. So we're just doing a, a head and shoulders. We're going to wrap a stethoscope around that neck. Um, and it would be great if you gave this to, if you know somebody that's in the healthcare profession right now, what a great present that would be for them to get a portrait of themselves as a healthcare worker out on the job. So start by just making that U, like I said, just gonna make a U. We're gonna come down. We're gonna cross over that, that bottom line, right? I happen to have two healthcare workers on my street. One's a physical therapist and she's still going to work every day. She works in a nursing home and the other's a doctor and he's going into work. So a big thank you to them for taking care of everybody. All right, so you see my big U? Big U. Down, crosses over that midway line a little bit and comes back up. I've got about a hand distance from the top of my paper and a little more than a hand, real, really a full hand down across the bottom half of my paper. All right, so take some time to adjust and make sure you've got that right there. This is uh, a great lesson. This was an idea from uh, Patty Palmer, that teacher out in California. And uh, we thank her for that. Such a good idea today. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put up here at the top of the U, we're gonna go ahead and put our ears on. So you're just gonna do a curve. And a curve. And then we're gonna come back around, put a little curve here and here, right? Because we know we get that little little edge on our ears like that, right? Give them a little, little detail. All right, let's talk about our eyes. So we're gonna start by doing a curve at the top and a curve at the top. Now, your eyes, remember we talked about the width between most people's eyes is about the same as an eye. So if you look at this, if this is about the length of a thumb, Length of the top part of my thumb, but the length of the top part of my thumb, right? So I could almost make another curve in between here, and then you know you've got your eyes uh, apart enough, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. They'll be so excited to get anything from you, right? And then we're going to go ahead and do a curve down here. So this makes our football shape for our eyes, right? We know eyes have that football shape like that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead. Remember we talked about the fact that you don't want to do your irises, that color part of your eye. Don't do a full circle inside there. If you do a full circle, it's not realistic looking because you never see the white all the way around your eyes. So do like this. Still make it a circle. But have that circle come from the top or maybe it doesn't even go all the way around. But Nice circle like this. Okay. And then inside that, of course, we know inside the circle, we do a, another circle for our pupils. And we can leave a little spot like that for reflection on our eyes. Because no matter what, you always see a little reflection on our eyes, right? Get this pupil a little bigger. 
All right, so next up, we are going to put a mask on because every healthcare worker is wearing a mask these days. So we're just gonna take and do a curved line like this from the top of one ear to the top of the other ear like that, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and put way over here because we want it to come out wide. Another curved line like this and another curved line like that. And then from about the bottom of the ear back to the mask, we're gonna put another curved line here and another curved line right there. All right, our face is starting to come together. We need a nose line. Remember we talked about, oh, we need some eyebrows, don't we? All right, so our eyebrows come up over our face like this. I mean, up over our eyes like this. Okay, and from here, remember we talked about the fact that that bone comes right down for our nose, right? So that bone, we just put on the one side like that. Okay, that's where our nose would be. Now, we're gonna come and put on a cap, right? So across the top of that U, you're gonna make another slightly curved line like that. Okay, and then we're gonna make a curved line for the top of our cap. Curve it up over the top like that. And then back down again. And there, we're kind of coming together. We've basically got, right, our face in a mask. Our healthcare worker with the mask on. Curve that a little bit more like that. All right, so from here, we can just put on a little bit of a neck. Just gonna put curved line here, curved line here. Okay. And then just bring your shoulders out and drop them right off the page. Right? Like that. Okay. We can draw our stethoscope around the neck. So I'm gonna put a curve line. Big old circle at the end, like that. And I'll just erase where we crossed over that shoulder. And then of course it comes out across the other side, dangles down like this. That, that's the that's the part where they put it up against your chest to listen, right? And then you got to do the part that goes in their ears to listen. So basically, a big curved line. It just jumps behind right there, and another curved line right in like that. Mm -hmm. Put a collar on the shirt, like that. And then of course we'll make the V right here. V right there for scrubs. And essentially that's our healthcare worker. Now we can add some details, right? We can put some lines in here the mask, right? Because they're kind of pleated on the edges, like that. Maybe a little detail, so a little extra trim right there. Okay, we can make these eyebrows a little bit bushier. You can take your pencil and just sort of, right? We can have some hair, depending on who you made. Maybe someone, you know, long hair, short hair. I was thinking of the my neighbor, the doctor next door, so I'm just gonna put some little short hair coming out there like that. 
right? Oh, what else could we add for some details? Put on a little badge, right? Put a rectangle on right here. Identification badge, something like that. You can give it a little fun background if you want to, right? Got a little picture there and some writing down here. All right. If you want to, you could put on just some pretty colors back here, maybe some hearts and some thank yous all around it, right? Any way that you want to decorate this up and have some fun and then give it away. Give this one away. Give it away to someone you know that's a healthcare worker that's taking such good care of everybody right now. All right, I'm gonna use some, I think I'll use some crayons today to finish finish up my drawing or maybe some colored pencils or both and, uh, and give my picture away. Have fun. All right, so let's give this some color. I'm gonna start with my face. Actually, I'm going to start, I'm going to do my hair first here. Don't be scared of portraits, right? Just give them a try. Whoever you give this to will be so excited. 